Hello, I'm Youngjun from UNC. I'm going to present our work, Tailor Me, on editing network for professional attribute stream manipulation. Fashion attribute editing aims to manipulate the appearance of a fashion image based on a user specified attribute and corresponding attribute value. Existing words perform the attribute editing directly on the input image, trying to manipulate both shape and appearance at the same time. Although these direct methods have already achieved high quality results on appearance editing, their performance on the shape counterparts is still quite limited. For example, most prior words only deal with minimal shape changes on sleeves or colors, which only take a very small portion of the entire image. Also, since the existing methods generate whole image pixels from scratch, they involve unwanted changes in attribute irrelevant regions, which can hurt the preservation of the wearer's identity. Our goal is to enable the attribute editing that involves larger shape changes while retaining the identity and details of the original wearer. To address these challenges, we present our virtual personal tailor network, VPTNet, where we decouple the fashion attribute editing into two stages, shape editing and appearance completion. Given a target attribute, the first stage consists of a shape editing network, which leverages an external parsing map estimator. High quality parsing maps can be obtained at near free cost by using an off the shelf module. Here, we learn to edit shapes on the parsing map instead of the raw input image. Such explicit shape manipulation enables learning more complex and larger shape editing as the parsing map contains less details than the original input image. However, a naive unsupervised training often leads to undesirable shape changes and distortions near edges due to the lack of pixel level supervision. To tackle this issue, we employ edge map information obtained from the parsing map and propose edge preserving constraints during training that can provide an effective guidance. The network learns to jointly modify the shape of the parsing map and the edge map while fusing both complementary information for more accurate shape manipulation. We also introduce target region localization module to accurately localize which semantic components and spatial parts should be edited. This leads to effective manipulation of the attribute relevant region, even when the editing requires larger shape changes and the human subject presents challenging poses. In the second stage, our appearance completion network directly samples the RGB pixels from the source image into the intersection region between the source and the synthesized parsing maps. The final result is obtained by only painting the cloth shape difference regions guided by the synthesized parsing map. This approach minimizes the generation of raw RGB pixels and maximizes the usage of the source pixels from attribute irrelevant regions, which results in high-quality results where the fine-grained details of the source image are well preserved. We present the comparison results with other baselines. We can see that our BPT net can perform the desired attribute editing while preserving the identity and details of the source image. Our method can also perform the multiple attribute editing. Thank you for listening.